Hey guys, welcome to another photography retouch. My name is Joe Pacheco. In the last episode, we did a black and white edit of the airline retro style guitar. This week, I'll do a color version using Nick Software Analog Pro FX, a really cool plugin that's part of a suite of seven plugins that Nick made free to the public, just like that last March. I'll try to do a different color version. Put the color back in. There you go. Oh, I love this edge right here. Such a nice instrument. And let's take it to uh, Nick Software Analog Effects Pro, which they just released for free about two days ago, which is really cool. I wanted to purchase it last summer and I would have been pretty upset and I purchased it and then all of a sudden they're giving it all away for free. It's a suite of seven plugins and I like the analog effects because it adds instant, instant vibe. And there's a lot of little tweaks you can do and manipulate and bring it back in. Here we go. Now it's loading the image. So you have a couple of modes here. Combinations, you know, classic camera, black and white, color cast. I'll go through the details of all of these options in another video. I like to just see what can we do. Gives it a nice blue tint. That's really nice. I like to just fool around at first. This is cool. Gives you the same sort of blue vibe. Looks very dirty. Nice. I like the double exposure. Gives you some cool effects. Just like lets you be free, lets you fool around. So here you go. You have all these little adjustments, color, detail extraction. You have some bokeh. You can choose blurring and stuff like that. You have the double exposure module, which is cool. You can turn it off to see what it actually does. Sort of offsets the picture. You can always balance between which one you want to see more of. See, there you go. It, there, you can do something like that, but you can still control, example, where that other picture is, how big it is. You can also rotate it. Gives you a lot of options, actually. I tend to leave it as is. You can also come here and select another image which I'll try in a, another time but this is kind of cool can adjust the exposure between the two pictures you know just have fun with it I find it helps sometimes just creativity gets you out of a of a rut here you have film types get maybe some different tones out of there couple of options here anyways just giving you a quick overview multi-lens is cool too now what's cool with this is this also works in when you install it it works for Photoshop as well and I find it's actually way more powerful in Photoshop because as Photoshop every module that they have ends up as a layer so you could further tweak that layer so anyways you get an idea of what this kind of inspired you to do Right now, I'm not digging too, too much what it's doing. This is interesting. Yeah, let's try the I'm feeling lucky button. Oh, that's actually not bad. I don't know about you guys, but I love shooting through stuff like glass or film or other see-through papers that kind of distort or even just applying it afterwards. That would probably be in the film type here and dirty. See, they have a module for dirt and scratches. Could turn that off. Should disappear. I love these type of effects. There you go. Got rid of all the scratches. It's kind of cool. And like I showed you before, you can come in here and it's sort of redundant with the two pictures. But you can come here and let's say maybe focus. Like that. That's kind of nice. More narrow. You 
also have some variation type here which adds like a sort of effect again more effects Can always pull it you have a random switch over here there I like that really brings it in maybe there's something here I can focus on yeah it's actually nice Sort of. Like that. That would be kind of cool. Here we can maybe zoom. Show. I like the original angle. Uh, yeah, grab the picture, maybe. There you go. Kind of cool. So before, after. Makes for some interesting effects. Something we could put on Instagram. Right now, there's nothing I really want to commit to. So here you have like toy camera presets, basic presets they give you. Let's try this guy out. Yeah, that's nice. So we brought this in and it sort of distorts it. Gives it a, seems like blues and reds. Pin cushion effect. We'll do some detail extraction here. I think is equivalent to tonal contrast or the clarity not um, slide on uh, in Lightroom. Let's bring it back. There you go. So we get a compare. Yeah, sort of distorts it. Not too much into the distortion. Let's see what that does. Compare. There you go. That's it's a nice tonal. in there okay. just blur the edges a bit more Let's see what this guy does Let's turn them off turn them back on okay so that's what I didn't like before distortion too <laughs> so here we go it's always nice to try man you never really know what you're gonna get So that's before, which is already pretty nice, and this is after. So, it's the detail extraction. Just maybe a little heavy on that one. Let's compare. Yeah. So there you go. You can save your presets right here. Save it, bring it back into Lightroom. There we go. It brings it back in TIFF format. And here we go. Just add a bit more. No, it doesn't really need too much anymore. Just There you go. Final sharpening. Maybe some noise reduction. And let's see if we can. There you go. Just a bit more of the vignette. And then we're good. This is the On One 10 black and white. And this is the Analog FX Pro, just some more tonal contrast kind of stuff. So there you go. Remember to just have some fun, not take things too, too seriously. Keep shooting. Enjoy it. Uh, leave me any comments, any questions, any tips that I can use myself that can make my workflow any faster. That would be greatly appreciated. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.